Hi everyone, I hope you're well. This is Coins Kid. Just come down to XRP once again. Thank you for your support. Okay, big old Coins Kid crew. So XRP really is tumbling here. If we take a look at this from this high just there, it's come down roughly 18% at the moment. You know, a lot of people don't, they don't say it, it does it, but it does it. You know, I've shown you this before. It does do it. We come down, we correct, we have these monster corrections, but it's all about structure and support. You know, if we if we go on the weekly time frame and I move to the left, like I said to you here, you know, you come up, you come down. At this point, you had a massive 30% correction, wasn't it, from these highs all the way back down to this neckline it was around about 33 percent correction down to that neckline you held it before continuation you know so you could be going through a very similar scenario where you have a monster correction off these highs coming all the way back down to this neckline there's a possibility again another 31 percent correction you know but it's all about structure and support so if we can maintain the structure and support right now of this potential w double bottom pattern and ascending triangle you know start to carve it out the structure like i said to you we're all good but failing that if we start to come down and we turn this level of support into resistance again then it's not so good you know and all we've done is we've traced and then we're continuing with this massive downtrend from these highs that we're actually in here for xrp you know but i wish i could tell you exactly what it's going to do but i can't no one can so it's all about structure and support but i know as we were coming up here into space everyone you know not many people envisioned a big big correction that you know and just if we take a look this was a correction from this high all the way down was another correction around about 25 percent you know xrp does this and you've got to realize that but what people do they buy here and get really scared and sell here and then they would have bought here and get really scared and sell here when effectively all you're doing is retracing to this low so you broke out coming up broken out coming up potentially potentially okay no guarantees it's, it's all about support and resistance so right now this is why i always say to you you know don't be greedy, don't over leverage, don't be a degen and always try and find the waves and ride the waves and opportunity, okay? So one thing here, we got this lovely little short opportunity, didn't we, yesterday for XRP, you know, it was either long or short and this is a thing people say, oh, you say it's often going to go up or down but this is something I can't predict with 100% accuracy. This is why you, you have support and resistance and like I've always said to you, you get really, really close to the apex. You look for any kind of divergence, okay, which is not necessarily a massive confirmation statement, but it's just something that sort of adds to the fire of a short or a long, basically. So if we take a look at the RSI just there for XRP, we was creating a bearish divergence just there. Initially, we had a bullish divergence yesterday. Uh, we're creating a series of lower lows just there. Okay, do you see that? And then the RSI, we've got the higher lows. So that was a bullish divergence. But what it led to from here was a little break into the 55 EMA. And at that point, we've got that big red candle. So this is where you come to the charts and you drop your trend line from there to that high and you can see you're coming back down okay with that you're looking for any divergence and we did get one we got a hidden bearish divergence there where we've got a high and a higher high in the rsi we've got a high and a lower high so right now boom we've dropped out okay personally i went short just there okay with my stop loss on this eye start building my short here and then boom we've dropped but i've actually took profit and i could kick myself but you know it is trading it is what it is you tp on the technical targets right because this could easily have come down like this and bounce and start to come back up this is what these things do okay so right now we're looking for the end of this correction i would not necessarily be looking to short right now okay because you're in free fall and it could just stop and bounce and, and find support and start to come up from anywhere and you, you're in a short and you're going to lose money so what you need to do is just wait for this particular breakdown to slow down just wait for it to carve out some kind of structure and then you go short or long again okay but personally i would not necessarily look to short right now and the rsi is always an indication of that whenever you're below this box here don't necessarily think about shorting okay but you always think about shorting midterm or at the top when you're creating bearish divergences okay this is where technically you do look for a long opportunity okay so right now you just got to sit back if you're not in a trade just sit back and wait and see what xrp does it is going through a monster correction the whole market is okay everyone's getting ultra bearish it is going through a monster correction there is a bit of an important update today on bitcoin it's retracing if it can hold them lows fantastic if it loses them yes we've got a massive massive uh you know correction on the hands right here for bitcoin and xrp and all the other altcoins basically but you know i always try and identify the opportunities long or short or whatever this is a beautiful opportunity go short stop loss on that low high like i said to you you lose that boom tp on the technical target right there you know and again i could kick myself because i would have a lot more profit but like i said this could have caught up and come back up okay so you know i'm looking for the end of this correction basically and one way you can identify that is obviously 
you just stop <laughs> right there you just stop and start to carve out some kind of structural bottom you you'll potentially see some kind of you know divergences occur on the hourly time frame on the four hourly time frame bullish divergences or whatever but all corrections come to an end you know even if it's this is really impulsive to the downside it will retrace back up for the continuation of whether or not this is impulsive to the downside you understand so everything that goes down must come up and everything that goes up must come down and you know it's just riding the waves basically so right now the, the bearish thing right here is we are losing this trend line okay so this is quite worrying the fact that we have this beautiful little channel right now that we're potentially coming up inside of so this particular scenario of support goes out the window and one thing we're doing right now is retracing to this support here so possibly you know you might get a level of support off 786 right here and begin a retracement like this okay so if we begin a retracement up like that into this resistance and then roll again you can see how on a macro time frame you've got a large left shoulder large head large right shoulder which would lead to a breakdown okay so if you start to come back down and lose this support this ascending level of support by turning this into resistance and coming back down massive head and shoulders pattern boom breaking down to come down to retest this uh, 1272 at 3872 now i think that if you start to come down below that 1272 uh, at 3802 i think that that's a very bearish statement from xrp going forward so if you start to see xrp trading below 03872 it could be a big big looking glass to a larger correction here for xrp and the fact that we're not come up impulsively off them june lows okay because what we're looking for is a retracement back down to that obviously that holds support doesn't lose it and then comes back up and breaks it high if we see that that is really really bullish going forward failing that if we lose that that's really really bearish going forward okay do you understand then it would indicate that you've got another impulsive move to the downside but i will always try and identify longs and shorts and things like that for you uh, going forward so right now i wouldn't necessarily jump into a trade until you start to see some kind of slow down in this push okay and create some kind of divergence down here one thing you know you never go short when you're in the floor in the rsi you go short when you're in the top or in the mid you go long when you're down here with divergences okay and again you never go long when you're all the way up in the sky like that okay so anyway you know you understand the update but right now just sit back relax chill let's see what happens with xrp let it carve out some kind of bottom down here structure whatever and then we can just assess it and see what we're going to go from from there okay well you enjoyed that update always ride the waves okay always try and find opportunity to go long and short and make money in this market with another update on xrp uh if we look at the 15 minute time frame can we see anything Let's have a look right now so you are creating multiple bearish di uh, bullish divergences just there's a bit of a neckline a bit of a trend line right now for xrp on the 15 minute um we've got a bit of a, a trend line just there on our side so you might get a bit of a bounce here okay for 786 you might get a bit of a bounce which is actually this low here isn't it just there so you might actually find a bit of support here and carve out some bottom if you do with this bearish with this bullish divergence sorry i'm going to say bearish if you do get some kind of carving out down here you might be in for a retracement coming up and again it's just an opportunity isn't it so i hope you enjoyed that update take care everyone back soon with an update on next stay healthy stay strong stay tuned take care everyone bye bye